Hey everyone, it's Beth with Flying by the Seed of My Plants and uh, I did a previous video of me harvesting a bunch of vegetables from my garden. So now I am preparing everything to make a wonderful, delicious casserole. And it is with uh, the vegetables I picked today. Um, there was eggplant, yellow squash. Um, I do have onion, not for my garden, but it's not ready yet. And then um, the bell peppers. And I'm just going to throw, I got some purple bell that I did do the other day, so I want to use those up. I have some uh, poblano. I'm just going to slice these up and put it in there, too. It'll probably be a couple casseroles because I have so many vegetables. And um, But right now, I just want to get this done. Uh, I have a lot more growing, so I could do other things as the season progresses. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera right now. I went ahead and I skinned all the eggplant and I'm gonna slice it and put some uh, salt on there um, because that'll take out a lot of the moisture before it goes in the casserole uh, to try and keep it as less runny as I can. So I'll go ahead and turn the camera so you can see. Okay, so I'm just gonna slice up this eggplant. And I'm not doing it really thick, I'm just doing, I don't know. Slice is like about that thick. Putting them on a paper towel and spreading it out. I'm gonna sprinkle salt on it. And I remove the skin. I'm not crazy about the skin. Some people like it. I, I don't. Okay, I'm just going to spread it out like that. And then I get, uh, this is um, the ground Himalayan pink salt. And I'm just going to sprinkle. Because that will pull the moisture out of the eggplant. And I'm going to rinse it and everything when I'm done and squeeze it. But I do want to get as much uh, moisture as I can out of there. Okay, clean the yellow squash. And I'm leaving the skin on. I'm just cutting away anything that looked like... Um, could have had a little damage from a pest. I love yellow squash. Cutting this thin. It cuts like butter. cut up a green pepper oops put that on there and this is all going into the compost whatever is not going in my casserole
This is the Purple Beauty Pepper. And what I don't use on here, I'm going to use, an, uh, I probably saute some onions and uh, the peppers for another dish. This is a poblano. And the Jimmy Nardello is so delicious. I'm going to save that for a, another salad. And I also uh, picked some fresh uh, basil. Chop some of that up. I'm going to go ahead and add this one to it, too. Okay, so I got the um, yellow squash, the summer squash sliced up, the eggplant. You can see the um, juice is already coming out of there. I'm going to move this over here. All that salt is just pulling it all out. So getting everything ready here. Um, I'm gonna get my. Oh, I gotta cut up some onion yet. This really big onion. And again, the onion is the only thing that is not from my garden. It's going in there right now. If I had uh, some red tomatoes, I would be slicing those up and putting them on there. Um, but they're not ready yet. So I have. Tomato sauce that I made from my tomatoes last year. So that's going to go into this dish. And I have uh, some fresh garlic from the garden. And what I love about this dish is I put it into uh, different containers after it's done, and then I freeze it, the containers. So I could pull it out for a quick lunch, a quick dinner, um, and it's all set. All I have to do is uh, defrost it. course now if you have a big family it's your main dish
or for company because it, 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 it's absolutely delicious. Okay, I think that's it for now as far as slicing and getting everything ready. A couple other things that are, go are going to go in the recipe and I'll get those. I am going to line this with tin foil. This makes it easier for cleanup later. other ingredients. Let me go get it. Okay, I use uh, Progresso Italian style breadcrumbs. Here is a jar of my tomato sauce from my tomatoes last year. Okay, so these are still getting the water out. And that's the eggplant. I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer. Probably another 10 minutes and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I have some garlic cloves here that I want to add. So I'm gonna put it through my garlic press.
garlic smells wonderful. It's that pink garlic with a hard neck garlic. Actually, this is the tomato sauce, and I'm just going to go ahead and put the garlic in there and mix it in there. Another ingredient is the mozzarella cheese. That has to go in there. And I also have some Parmesan Romano cheese, which is going to go in there too. Yum. Okay. This on the side. Still waiting on the eggplant. It's still getting rid of a lot of liquid. So uh, I will bring you back as soon as I'm ready to start layering this, and I'll show you what I do. Okay, I'm going to squeeze the excess water out of the eggplant now. Probably been about a half hour. Actually, I should probably do it to the yellow squash too. <laughs> I'm going to sprinkle some on the yellow squash just to get any excess uh, moisture out of it because otherwise you're going to have a really runny dish and I don't want that. And salt just pulls all that moisture out. Okay, squeeze this all out and rinse it off a little from all the excess salt. And it did get a lot of that moisture out. So now, just want to do that to the squash. I'm going to let that sit for a minute, and over here, I'm going to take my tomato sauce and just spread some on the bottom. The oven is preheating at 375, and so now I'm going to go ahead and just spread eggplant.
spread peppers. It's kind of like making a pizza, but without the crust. these and kind of squeeze out the excess, excess moisture out of the squash. So many delicious meals you could make with your vegetables. But this is one thing I absolutely love. So anyhow, I got that done. I'm going to go ahead and rinse this. Add some more tomato sauce now. I'll probably get another jar here too. And in between that layer, I'm going to add the breadcrumbs. And it does have Italian seasoning in there, so I'm not going to be adding any of that. Okay, and now I'm going to add some of the onion. You can add anything you want. I mean... Like I said, it's almost like making a pizza of it without the crust. Just add all your favorite veggies, which mine are just about everything. Yeah, I might even get another jar. I'm going to go ahead and add some mozzarella cheese. Yes, I love cheese.
panning for more moisture in the squash. And I'm going to do one more quart. <laughs> one way to use up all your uh, tomato sauce. Get that on there. Ooh, this is really thick. I bet this is with the... Um, the tomatoes that I use in my sauce is a San Marzano, and I think it was a lot of San Marzano. That was really nice and thick. Just spread it around. Add some more breadcrumbs. Yes, add the rest of it. Okay, and then I have basil. Sprinkle that basil on top. And then some more mozzarella cheese. And I'm going to add some Parmesan um, Romano. I don't know. This dish I've been making over 20 years now. I love it. Now this, for the uh, first probably 45 minutes, I am going to cover it. Okay, so I pulled the casserole out. It is done, and uh, the battery ran out just a few minutes <laughs> when I was putting the tin foil on top. Uh, I'm going to cut into this and put it on a plate, and you can see what it looks like. It smells delicious. The whole house smells absolutely delicious. So. Let me go ahead and fix up a little plate. Okay, there it is. I went ahead and put a little plate. It's really hot. I can't even taste it right now. <laughs> but it's delicious. I mean, with all the years I've been making it. And it's really funny because my sister texted me about a half hour ago and said, Hey, if you're making that casserole, I'll take some. And I said, Well, it's in the oven, so... She is on her way over, and so I'll be dividing this up and sharing it with my sister, and anyhow, it's delicious, guys. 
So that's one recipe I do every year with my garden. Something if you have an overabundance of certain things or, you know, you just, uh, it's one of my favorite things. So it's a recipe to share and it's delicious to share with family. And I guess it's about it. And so I wanted to share that with you guys. And it was in the oven. Um... It was at about 45 minutes with the tin foil on top, and then I took the tin foil off and let it cook another probably about 20 minutes and just pulled it out of the oven. So it's still steaming. I don't even know if you could see that, but anyhow, it is absolutely delicious. So, anyhow, I will talk to you guys on the next one and have a great day. All right, bye.